Now, it is no longer news that the woman many have seen and related with as one of NTA's finest administrators has bowed out after 35 years of military service. However, what remains fresh in their memories is our firm adherence to core moral and ethical principles which assisted her to achieve her goals in life. She is Pauline Igbano, a barrister at law who recently signed out same day she clocked 60 as the new director in the Ebony Network Center. Agatha Iguaro Uju brings us all the trappings of the twin celebration. It all started with the Thanksgiving Mass at St. Paul's Catholic Church, presided over by Archbishop of the Catholic Archdiocese of Benin, Most Reverend Augustine Akubeze, Secretary to Edo State Government and classmate to the celebrant to Saudian Ugie, former Director General NTA Professor Tony Radia, the NTA family, friends, and well wishers joined the celebrant to thank God for the gift of life and bowing out gracefully. I'm happy for her. It's unusual to get to 60 in a visible position like broadcasting without problems. After the mass, NTA family, family members, and associates moved to Ui Grand Event Center with enough to make merry. Glowing tributes in written and spoken words continued to pour from the state government and Director General NTA Abdul Hamid Dembos, among others. The ground she has broken in media, now she will break new grounds even in retirement because she's still very strong, healthy and full of life. The experience she's retiring with will not just be there on top. She's a very dedicated woman, a committed person, a reliable woman. There's no GM's meeting that we go to in Abuja that she's not called up for excellence. I believe I will be able to sustain what she has done and improve on what she, she's leaving behind. She's an achiever and while in school she was very focused. She was an organized person. The merrymaking also continued with Sentier Benin management, staff and other invited guests as they joined her on the dance floor to rejoice with their boss who they described as an administrator par excellence. <laughs> For being a successful career and team player personality, Mrs. Igbano looks back with pride, knowing full well that she gave her best. Well, I don't know whether there is a word that I can use to describe how grateful I am, how pleasantly surprised I am by the show of love. I, I know that usually when people are retiring, it's as if you know people are just turning their back on them. But my own case has been different. Everywhere I have gone to, people have embraced me and shown appreciation. She's committed. She has passion for it. Even when you want to discourage her, she's not ready to be discouraged. I don't know why, <laughs> but so I'm happy. Uh, God saw her through. Maybe she's, God saw her mind. So she kept on traveling back and forth to just spend time with us. And I, I admire her strength, her love, her... Her hard work to do this job, it, I mean, I admire everything. I pray that I, I would be exactly like her. Pauline Igbano joined the NTA in 1988 as a senior legal officer, rising to be secretary, legal advisor to the authority, deputy director special duties, general manager NTA Asaba, zona director NTA Badon. She signs out as zona director NTA Benin, a position she held for the last seven years. In Benin, Agatha Egwari Uju, NCA News.